don't know about you, but to me, Christmas without the music of Johann Sebastian Bach is just unthinkable. I mean, no other musician before or since has been able to capture the wondrous essence of the Nativity and the Incarnation, the miracle of the Virgin Birth and the coming of God's light into the world, coinciding with the geophysical year, the turning of the sun at the winter solstice. The Christmas Oratorio tells the Christmas story across six cantatas which originally would have been performed on different days over the Christmas and New Year period. It tells the gospel story, um, but at the same time it brings in colour and life, almost like six perfectly formed musical devotions. It's a real privilege and a joy to be coming back to doing to do some Bach um, with the Monteverdi Choir, particularly after the St John Passion that we did um, a couple of years ago. But this is a very different, <laughs> different experience because we'll have an audience, but that's a very appropriate thing, I think, for the Christmas Oratorio because of the kind of outward um, joy and abundance of the, of the piece. Um, yeah, I think an audience has to be there to share in that, in that joy, so it's, I'm very much looking forward to it. The Christmas Oratorio starts so dramatically, but there are jewels all the way through that you can hold up to the light and, and, and admire and think, oh, have I really got that? If you allow yourself to be taken by it, by the, the, the flow of the music, and give it your full attention on, on the word setting, on the orchestration, the instrumentation, the harmony, the, the interweaving of the voices, there's nothing like it. <laughs> 